Well, how I told you this structure is really nice for publishing, yes, and here you can see elixoidal plot of your structure. Well, now we would also need to create the uh, picture of our structure uh, with um, and, and also create the tables with uh, refinement parameters. So, um, and maybe all the bond lengths and all these uh, crystallographic tables which you usually uh, put into the supplementary material. To do so, it's extremely easy and we will do it right now. So, to do so, you need to go to your farm manager and first we will create the table file and then we will create the image file of files. Okay, so to create the table uh, tables, crystallographic tables, you need to go to your C file, and after that, use the program which called XSIF. That's what you type. Then again, the name of file uh, without extension. So my final C was XSIF uh, deals underscore F. So pressing enter. You get into this menu, and what you need to do, you need to select this T uh, crystal atom tables from SIF. Okay, so you press in T, and it's asking is it this SIF? You say yes, uh, like that, uh, yes, and now uh, file name for tables. Well, file name for tables, what you, what you will get, it's you will get rich text format, which can be read pretty much with any uh, text viewer in any system or RTF format. So, what I will type, let's call it deals underscore f dot RTF. Make sure that you put the extension of the file here. Okay. Now it's asking you for the formats, and here's several options: Angstroms, PM, PN, German. But what uh, I prefer to do is RTR, rich text format, for input to MS, do, uh, MS Word, and Angstroms. That's what you would prefer to have. So I'm putting RTA. Okay, then Chris and asking you next uh, what type of tables do you want? Oh, crystal data table, yes. Adam coordinates table, yes. Uh, select bond coordinate table, no. Full bond, uh, yes. Anisotropic distillation parameter, yes. Hydrogen atom coordinates table, yes. Selector torsion angles table, no. And full torsion angle uh, angles table, yes. Hydrogen bond table, and it says yes, but make sure that you put no, otherwise it won't create a table file. Put no, you're done. So now you can press Q to quit. Now you can see you have RTF file, so enter on it, and it's opening in Word. And you can see you have your pretty standard table uh, with uh, structure. Uh, uh, structure refinement parameters so you can change it, modify it, copy it and all your crystallographic tables are here so tables we, uh, we did so the next thing what we need to create is to make a picture of our molecule so we will do it in XP which is pretty standard so, open in XP your final res file. So, in our case, it was deals.res. And do if small, yes. Rog. Rotate. Oh, now it's rotating. It's good. Um, okay, so what you need to do first of all, you need to delete all QPix. So, kill $Q. Okay, so now select the orientation which you think uh, would be really good for 
your image. Well, what type of orientation you would like to have? Well, you would like to have such orientation which allows you to see all your atoms and you do not cross uh, other atoms. So you can see pretty much everything and therefore you can label everything pretty easily. Okay, well I like kind of like this orientation so you can actually see the 3D geometry of a molecule, not really, but let's see if you not sure about your picture, press pairs and see is it look good for you or look bad for you uh, it doesn't look so exciting so let's do a little bit more modification oh that looks good just little bit rotating here okay I think now it looks really good so we can see it in pairs a uh, little bit you see near uh, the oxygen not so good so how we can correct it now it's lagging escape um, not the pairs and it starts lagging finally. Well, it's not the best orientation, but you can definitely see the um, ba uh, both orientation of the central ring, and you can see the geometry, and you kind of can see the oxygen atom, but. It's not bad. So now let's create picture itself. Let's go ex exit the pairs mode. And what you do next, um, uh, you saying uh, the command TELP. And for the TELP, you can have two options. You can create picture either in ellipsoids, ellipsoidal plot, or in ball and sticks. Well, I will try to show you both ways. Well, first let's create uh, the picture in uh, ball and sticks. To do that, you need to type TELP and several parameters. Some of the TELP parameters um, I pretty much learn and use them as a standard, and that's what I recommend you to use. So, 050, 0 0.033. Um, you can read in the manual for TELP and XP and figure out what those numbers means, but um, those parameters works really ex excellent for me and for creation of picture. So we press enter. Now give the name to this uh, plot file. Well, let's give it a name uh, ball stick. Okay, that is your ball and stick, and here is uh, your labels, and you can see your labels it's pretty big. Uh, so if you want to change the size of your label, so in this mouse right now you can move and uh, put the labels on the atoms, but I don't like it labels it too big. How we can modify the labels? This comment label. So if you type help label you can see the options. Well, default size it's 600 um, and I prefer to use uh, around 500 and here's your codes um, you, you type in the code and then the size so code 0 no labeling, 1 labels without H and without brackets, uh, 2 without H but with brackets which is default and 3 uh, with H but without brackets um, and for with both. Well, I prefer not include hydrogens. They sometimes, if I'm not discussing the hydrogens in this particular structure, I don't usually mark them. And therefore, I don't need this. And oh, well, let's use some. Let's use brackets. So it will be number two for coding and 400 for size. So you type label. Um, 
to 400. And now again repeat talp 0, 50, 0 0.033. Let's go ball stick. Okay, so now start labeling your atoms. C5, C6, C7, C8, C9, C10, C11, C12, C13, C14, C15, C16. Okay, when you're done with this, make sure that you press enter. If you don't do that, or you press escape, it will not save the structure in correct format. Okay, so we done this picture for ball and sticks. Now we're doing the ellipsoidal plot. Uh, to do so, you're using the same common talp, but percent of ellipsoid you put in um, like this. It will be 0 minus 50. This minus 50 means it's I want to do ellipsoidal plot, and percent of ellipsoids of uh, uh, most probability uh, probability of ellipsoid you put in here. So minus 50 means 50%. If you want a 30% uh, ellipsoid, you put in minus 30. But I want a minus 50, which is standard. 0, 3, 3. Enter. And it's giving you parameters of your ellipsoids. So it shouldn't be in any MPDs. Otherwise, it won't do it. And you gain, let's put it ellipsoid. And you can see your ellipsoidal plot. And again, mark your atoms. C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, C8, C9, C10, C11, C12, C13, C14. C15, C16. Okay, so you're done with this. Again, pressing enter. So those pictures you can easily view. You cannot modify them, but you can easily view them with command view. And a uh, name of your uh, file, for example, ellipsoid. And it will show you your file.